Hello, welcome. This is Sports Tonight. We're broadcasting live from Channels TV Sports Center in Lagos, Nigeria. You know that it's always a delight to have you join us to talk sports. I'm Austin Okonakwan. It's still an action packed Tracy Pacey. World of Sports. What are you talking about? Are you following what's going on in the UEFA Champions League? What a story. Lewandowski has just scored from the sport. So it's um, Bayern Munich 1, Real Madrid 0. As it is now, it's tied 2 to an aggregate. But if it ends this way, it is Real Madrid that will go through. Someone is wondering why. That's because because they have um, a better stand in the away goal rule. What about Leicester City? What's going on with Leicester City? They are also trailing by a single goal. Can they bounce back from that one with Atletico Madrid? We'll monitor everything going down in the UEFA Champions League. Action packed all the sports. Do you know that we are already in March day 19? of the Nigeria Professional Football League. What's been working with us on this journey? March the 19th already. And Enugu Rangers defending champions. They're still where they are uh, on the log now. It tells you that football is an impossible sport. We'll talk about March the 19th of the Nigeria Professional Football League. Week 4 of the Nigeria Women's Football League. That's what makes us smile because we're beginning to see some changes in women's football in Nigeria. We will stay with that one. Yesterday on the program, we talked about the Eco Beach Soccer League. Well, we couldn't have the league because we we're hosting Africa, uh, but the organizers put together an invitation at tournament um, to commemorate Easter Monday, tell the sponsors that, hey, we're still playing beach soccer in this country, and um, a lot came out of that. Aisha says, look, we are also looking at ways we can bring in uh, women into beach soccer. So they'll be listening to participants. What do they have to say after competing in that one? There's so much to talk about. Also, take a look at the Africa Badminton Championship team events. Bronze medals for Team Nigeria. Mm, what can they do in the singles event? We'll monitor everything. I mean, everything going on in that one. There's also a new federation. We don't get to talk about it in Nigeria. The last time uh, we talked about the Bobsled Federation of Nigeria, we have the Amateur Bodybuilding and Fitness Federation of Nigeria. So that's a, that's a very serious federation right there because we all know the importance of fitness uh, to our everyday living. We'll explore that federation and uh, find out what they are planning. They have a whole lot of things they are planning. Sports Tonight on Channel Steve will give you all the load and walk with us. How can you be part of the program? Don't just watch this show. Come, let us play for the love of the game. On Twitter, we're channels underscore sports. Verified Twitter handle. Talk to us as regards whatever you want to talk about in your action pack to other world questions. Um, Comments, suggestions coming from your world of sports, talk to us. We will entertain it tonight on the program. Just to also let you know uh, that you can send us an email, sports tonight at channelstv.com. And all our top stories can be viewed on our website, it's channelstv.com, and on YouTube floor slash channels web. If you're on the go, it's very simple. Someone is saying, how can I be part of sports tonight? Don't worry, just go to m.channelstv.com, download the channels TV app for your iPad, your iPhone, your iOS, your Windows, and even your Android phones m.channelstv.com, download the app, close and open your eyes. You will have the world at the palm of your hands. That's how simple it is for us. And right here at Channels TV Sports Center, because we know that it's a racy, pacey, action-packed sort of sport. We want to help you keep up with the pace. So I just do that. m.channelstv.com, download the app. I'll be part of everything that I'll be doing tonight on the program. Let's take off with some speed now. I'll tell you about season nine of the channel's National Kids Cup. That's our project for grassroots football development. Have you told somebody who knows about it to tell another person that it will be ending in two days' time? It's a call for applications for um, schools in Lagos State. Application will close on the 20th of this month. So I'll just remind them that today is the 18th of April. So if you have not registered, talking about schools in Lagos State, go to our website, channelstv.com, register your school, register your players. Uh, some requirements here and there, birth certificate, passport photograph, just send them to kidscop at channelstv.com. When you do that, you might just have your school playing in the national finals. Just look at that right there. And then everyone will watch your school and see you become the ultimate champion. Season 9 of the Channel's National Kids Cup. 
Let's come back home now. Talk about the Eco Beach Soccer. We brought it to you uh, yesterday. Six-team invitational tournament. There was also the corporate challenge. Uh, Aisha Falode uh, was also there. She had a good time watching beach soccer. But she says, look, we can also bring women, uh, ladies, into this. We can pioneer beach soccer league in Africa because we don't get to hear about beach soccer for ladies in Africa. And so teams came out, uh, played, uh, beach so played soccer on the beach in a very relaxed, cool atmosphere and of course we also saw some good goal gave good goals gave us another opportunity to know that we have quality and talent to play beach soccer in this country and uh, let's not forget that the Lagos State Football Association they are in charge of these uh, the beach soccer league is being chaired by uh, Mr. Tadi Aziz is the chairman and then of course with the team they're trying to uh, get it well now uh, players don't get to play regularly on the beach. They love playing on grass. Some students from the FCBS Scholar Soccer Academy, they were part of the competition. And we asked them, what's the difference playing on grass and playing on sand? Let's listen to them. I'll come back. We'll talk some more. Don't go anywhere. Stay. Beach soccer. So all we learned, we are not able to do them very well. The free-flowing tiki taka style, we are not able to do them very well. It's because of the beach, you know, because the sand, we are not able to move very well. That's just it. Well, yesterday, 11 aside, on a level field, of course. So, yeah, it, it was really, 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 it was fun for us. It was fun. It was fun. Playing on grass, we played the Barcelona way. We played the Barca values. We learned how to keep possession, how to play into space. But here, there's not much of keeping the ball. It's just get the ball, shoot it into goal. So, it's kind of like adapting for us for the first time. We at Barca, we play on uh, artificial turf or the grass, so the ball moves easily. But uh, on the beach, it's a different ball game. There are no passes, so we cannot exactly play our philosophy, but we enjoyed ourselves. But do you think this is a good way to develop technique and you know train players? Uh, well, I think um, what it builds most of all is um, the, the shooting ability. Uh, and of course, um, a lot of uh, teamwork because it's a very tight space and there must be a lot of communication between the guys. So I think uh, it helps uh, team, team building. So that's it. Uh, music uh, goes along when playing beach soccer. So uh, um, participants commenting on uh, the Eco Beach Soccer League. Uh, it's not the same as what they see or experience on, on grass, but... All the same, it's a good experience. That's it for uh, the Eco Beach Soccer. Let's get on with the show. Now, talk about squash in Nigeria. We don't get to really talk about this one, but it's so much fun when we do, particularly when the Federation is doing what they can to go back to the basics. Nigeria's former professional uh, squash players are ready to restore the game by producing the next champions for the country. They say the restoration will begin with the first edition of the National Junior Tournament in Lagos. Isn't that just lovely that we'll have kids play squash and then we'll see them? And now during a media briefing at the Testing Balogun Stadium today, the organizers uh, confirmed that over 150 players across the country will take part in the tournament. And they've said the championship will begin on Thursday, April the 27th and end on Saturday the 29th. Let's listen to these organizers. Let's find out how they get ready to give us the first ever Junior Squash Championship in Nigeria. We'll be right back. Stay with us. Squash, like we all know, in the past, had one of the most busiest sporting calendar with tournaments holding every month in the year with an average of up to one or two tournaments in a month. As primary stakeholders of the game, we decided it was not just enough to analyze the cost of the positive being experienced, but to take the bull by the horn by preferring solutions that are far reaching. As one of the decisions taken by the group to restore the lost glory of the game was to practically get involved in its development. We want to show the world that we mean business. We are here to turn, to bring squash back to its former glory. So we're getting ready. Uh, the organizers are the same. Um, fired up for that one. First National Junior Squash Championship. We cannot wait for that one to begin. Over 150 junior players. Let's see what they can give us when that one actually begins.